Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail, and we're back with more Terraria, where I am chopping wood. And why am I chopping wood today? Well, it's pretty simple. The sun is setting, but it's going to be a good episode today, because we have just finished up with the jungle, and it is time to move on to the next part of the game. Which is, and we are right outside here right now, the dungeon. Now you'll see that this dungeon's partially submerged. There's an old man here that you want to talk to at night time. And I can go up to about here, right about here, and then once I go in there, it becomes a whole new ball game. If I do not resolve this old man's issue before going in there, then I will get killed, slaughtered. So, the dungeon. In order to get into the dungeon, you have to fight a guy named Skeletron, who is, I guess for a while, during uh, Terraria's development, Skeletron could have been considered a the final boss, or the hardest boss, or sort of the capstone boss of the game. But now he's just kind of a middle part going towards the late game as well. We are going really fast there. So, let's see if I can actually... I don't think I'm going to be able to... Get, okay, so I can unflood that a little bit if I go down there. But to fight Skeletron, it's pretty easy. I guess you could say it's pretty easy. We're just going to do our... We're just going to make our arena here first. And the arena is going to be fairly straightforward. There's going to be a lot of platforms. Because for Skeletron, what you want more than anything else is room to run and jump and go back and forth. And this is actually a little less than I'd like right here. So I'm actually going to go and dig up maybe a little more dirt right here. Because what I want to do is to have an actual platform that I can run back and forth on instead of using my wood. I'm going to do it this way. So the sun setting. Skeletron does not actually spawn until... Let's see here. He doesn't spawn until you talk to the old guy. So he's not the worst fight in the world. There are more difficult boss fights that come later, but he's definitely a push over some other types of bosses that appear in this game, at least up until this point. So we're going to go through this copper and stone... And see, we're just trying to make a good little flat area here. And I'm going to build a house for myself as well, but there is the uh, night falling, so we, let's get started building this arena. Now, to do it how I like to do this, because Skeletron isn't really going to be terribly cooperative with what you try and do to shuttle him about. Let me just get all my wood right there. Is we're going to make one kind of platform over here as our last little slime of the day is going this way. And actually, in fact, just to make sure that I don't royally screw this up, I'm going to include a... Uh, yeah, doing a lot more damage now. I'm going to include a little wooden platform over here. And this is mainly just to a CYA measure. Because if the fight gets hectic and I end up over here, I don't want to be falling into the water. So that'll stop me. That's good. And that'll give me some easy access points in and out. Now we're going to want to build onto this area, so we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to block off so we kill the quick fish that's over there. Uh, we're going to do the, kind of the same kind of block off here with this, because we do not want to be falling into the water here. And I don't know if I can necessarily build totally around this tree, but we'll, we'll make it happen. Just cut it down. I was hoping to spare one tree, but I guess that's the way it goes. Now, the, like I said, it's, and I'm just going to do this very briefly. We'll build the arena. You'll get to see it. But pretty much it's going to be platform here, platform here that I can jump up on because I want to be able to dodge his movement. So I'll fast forward this building. It's going to be kind of a dark building video anyway. So yeah, la la la, fast forward. You can see that I'm putting up a few boxes here. It doesn't have to be anything perfectly solid, but... The bigger portion that we want is let's see here, platforms here. We just want places to jump. And we'll put some torches up just to make sure. There we go. That's what we want. 
All right, so there is the arena. Pretty simple stuff. I mean, just some platforms to jump up and down. If I have one worry, it's that I didn't make this arena wide enough. Because Skeletron's a pretty big boss. So actually what I should do here, just to be safe, is to put some dirt down here. Just so that if I fall into the water, I don't forever drown. Thanks, zombie douche. Now, I could start this fight right now, but he'll despawn if you don't kill him tonight. Actually, I think he may kill you if you don't kill him tonight. So, hey, bunny. This is the arena. The plan's pretty much going to be to engage him. It'll talk about the boss fight as we go through it, but engage him and just try and run up here. Go over here because he has he's a big skull, floating skull with two hands that will try and swipe you. So you want to be able to get up and down off the ground quickly. Actually, the, ball, the fight is a little bit easier if you have the cloud in the bottle. I don't, so... There is uh, my happy little vine as well. And this is on top of the dungeon. It's totally okay for me to be here. I can be on top of the dungeon just fine. And all I'm going to do real quick with the rest of my time pre-boss is build a house. So I'll probably jump that as well just to try and pass some time because you can only spawn him at night. And much like the Eye of Cthulhu, you want to spawn him at the beginning of the day or night cycle and not later on. So let me just take care of this. And I will catch up with you all again when it is boss fight time. Alright, and we're back. And this is my little house cabin in the woods. It's on the other side of the dungeon. And what we're going to do here is just wait for sunset. We're going to talk to the old man first as we go up and around the dungeon. Supposedly there are some traps waiting up there. I haven't quite seen that, but yeah. Let's just go down here. We're going to see that the old man doesn't have a lot to say during the day. Come back at night if you wish to enter. So we get two goldfish. And it is going to be night here in just a minute. And when it is, the problems are going to start. Fight's going to go on right around here. And actually, it's interesting because we... Did I just have, like, some desert background for a second? That was interesting. Let me do, see if I can get that to repopulate. Because I don't think they're so... Okay, so we have... Desert or mountain or dungeon something background. And then we get up here and we're in the grasslands or in the woods. That's fascinating. But anyway, what's going to happen with this fight is pretty straightforward. It's just that it's going to be all about me dodging, ducking, diving, and dodging. And since I uh, excavated my house, I had a little bit more stuff to play with. But it looks like I put that in storage. So we're just going to hope that we don't hit down there. But even if we do... Cloud in the bottle should make this fight a little easier. Just gotta wait for the sun to set, and when it does, it's going to get real up in here. Real fast. This will eventually be grass, and this is, I said, a pretty basic arena. It's not as wide as I'd like, but I don't feel like rechanneling all that water up and down and around, so we'll see how it goes. As soon as the music changes at night, you're going to see here this guy, old man, doesn't have to let's say, I cannot let you enter until you free my curse. Well, I'm glad that you can drown. I cannot let you enter until you free my curse. So, what we got to do to free a curse is to talk to this old man and to fight his uh, entomer, a dude named Skeletron, who I don't know what the backstory is behind him, if there is one other than he's a skeleton badass. And, oh, look, a mushroom. Yay. It's like random mushroom farming as well with these little boxes here, but stars are out. I'm going to start this fight ASAP because I want to get into the dungeon. So here, I don't think I can actually get those books right now, so we'll put we'll put a torch there. Nothing yet. My master cannot be summoned under the light of day. Master. So he's cursed. There's a master. It's like a Buffy the Vampire Slayer episode or something. I don't know. Or whatever it is you kids watch nowadays, which is definitely not that. So it is night time, which means it is time for Skeletron. Let's see if I have totally underestimated my opponents. Any moment now, just waiting for the music to change. Because we want to have as much time as we can at night to fight them. Like I said, I'll talk through the fight as we go through. It's a lot of dodging. You kind of got to get a rhythm to it. So I may or may not have that rhythm. And I'm not entirely sure if I die to him, if I'll be able to summon him again until the next day. Which, if that's the case, it's going to be a little bit of a pisser, but here we go. Skeletron time. 
Stranger, do you possess the strength to defeat my master? Curse or close? I like those options. Let's go with curse. Okay. So here's Skeletron. He He's hitting me pretty hard already, but I'm hitting him too. And the only thing that matters for doing damage is the head. And this is why I wanted to get my ammo back. Because the head hits pretty hard, especially while it's spinning. So let's see here. I'm not doing so hot so far. I may need to widen this arena after all, but the biggest thing is that you want to avoid the spinny head while you can. You definitely don't want to get hit by it. Yeah, I had some potions I could have used before this. It probably would have been advisable. But I do have weapons enough to do damage to this guy. I don't know if the hands respawn or not. Oh, I don't want that. Definitely don't want that. Okay. Because it is just all about dodging his face. So I may have to go into try-hard mode here in just a moment. Because, yeah, I am suddenly... Let's see here. That's kind of a good rhythm. You can launch your hands at me all you want. Shit just got intense. Yeah. Not all I can do about that damage, but if I can just avoid it... I'd love to use my Blade of Grass. It's a much stronger weapon. Yeah, it looks like I fucked up this arena, so that sucks. We'll see if we can get this done anyway. Let's see, yeah, this needs this is gonna need to be wider. Yeah. This is not this is not going too well at all. I mean, I'm hurting him. Uh, he's just getting so many more hits on me. Ugh. If I can survive just a little bit longer without getting hit, that's probably not going to happen. So let's see here. 27 health. Okay, can we do it? Can we survive 15 more seconds? 16, 10, 9... Oh, shit. Potion! Go, go, go! There we go. Not perfect, but shit, I will take it. And this is why the musket is a good weapon. Because you can just do this all day. Biggest thing, like I said, is that you do not want spinny skull in your face. So we're almost there. This is probably going to be rage-inducing last-second death. Oh, got him! Oh, 41 health to spare. That was a poor, piss-poor arena. But who did it. And you're like, wait, what, what special drop is Skeletron supposed to have? None, really. Because now that he's dead, Old Man's going to return, and more importantly, I can start investigating the dungeon Man, that was a uh, terrible run here. Unfortunately, when I open this door, what's going to happen to all the water? It's going to go this way. Let's see, the dungeon has some kind of nice things in it. You can get just some items here. And uh, there's pro what I probably want to do as well, unfortunately, that I haven't done, is that there's an item you can get from the Goblin Tinkerer that will let you actually see where uh, stuff's kept. The uh, other really nice thing about the... Uh, dungeon, as we're going to do a little bit of exploration with this today, since we got time, since I one-shot the boss miraculously, is that there are bookshelves, and on the bookshelves are different items. Okay, so we get a meteorite landing as well somewhere. Didn't land on the dungeon, I don't know where that is, so we have one goblin invasion, two goblin invasions, two meteorites now. Um, interesting stuff. Actually, I did see another Goblin Scout, so it may not be too far. I'm not used to seeing that in a dungeon, and there is a trap pressure plate. So we don't really want to hit that. It's a, it's a trapped demon forge, apparently. But yeah, there are a lot of traps in the dungeon. There's a lot of bad that can happen in this place. Now let's hear a water candle. 
which let's see here is that a is that like a yeah may attract unwanted attention so uh, I forget exactly what fun and games you can have with the water candle but right now what we're gonna do is uh, make pretty good liberal use of the uh, fun super happy uh, grappling hook which this is the feature that I really like about it that you can just go from the middle of areas and yeah he's this guy's big, bad, and scary, but I can shoot him up here with impunity and kill him. So we're just going to mark our way down here. The dungeon is a uh, place where you, you can take a lot of damage really quickly if you're not careful. If you get yourself kind of backed into a corner, and it's really easy to do. So here's our first book, Water Bolts. Oh, cool. Water Bolts actually a pretty good spell. I actually didn't use any grenades on the boss, which surprised me a little bit. Yeah, it bounces around, and it doesn't use that much mana, but it's the bounce feature is what I really like about it. So there's some trap spikes, which I've seen people use to great effect in their own little private arenas that they made. Unfortunately for me, with uh, my slow hammer, which I probably could have used to upgrade, what's, what those trap spikes are going to do is probably cause me a world of pain here in just a minute. So it's here. The Blade of Grass, unfortunately, doesn't have a lighting effect, so... I'm going to need to make some liberal use of, uh, oh shit, Dungeon Slime, you you hurt a little more. Yeah, so I'm probably going to die to a trap before long. But I'm just going to check all these bookshelves. We're just going to keep lighting the way. Kind of the goal here today is just to make sure that we can get down here and kind of get started. I'm not expecting a full exploration of this place. As far as we can get would be good. See, there's a little trap ring. And I don't know about what other books are here. There are actually also a chest here that contain keys, and those keys are incredibly valuable. So you can I actually... I, I can... Okay, this is a pink dungeon. This is This brick is taking a long time to cut through, though. See, someone else is casting Water Bolt at me, so... Obviously, they are aware of my presence. Oh, shit. Okay, well, we're, we're not going to go that way. And this is where I was saying this place can get nasty in a hurry. Okay, now, I'm not holding the water candle out, but if it, I don't know if in my inventory is enough now. I need a gold key to open that chest. Oh, wait, no, apparently I was able to open it somehow. Broken Aqua Scepter, we'll hold on to that. Invisibility Potion, interesting. Torches, gonna need more of you. So I got one gold key. So gold keys drop from enemies here. And uh, we don't need acorns. We can farm plenty of those. Switches are fun for later. Pink bricks, there's plenty of that to farm. Life crystal, let's go ahead and use that. I don't know why I didn't use that as soon as I got it, but... Gold chest, not too much else. Throwing knives. And look at what we got. We got, we got a friendly uh, ghost here looking to charge me in the face momentarily. Just like that. Isn't it fun? Isn't it fun when everybody's trying to kill you? Hey guys, I just wanted to see your dungeon. Too bad. Too bad. Alright. So, danger spikes over there. And this is where it gets really risky to start trying to grapple hook into darkness because you don't know it's around the corner. And I actually did bring some wooden platforms just to help myself out here. Because some of these places are... Uh, let me put it this way. It is a terrible idea to go into the dungeon without having a uh, any kind of upgraded grappling hook at all. Because you see, you get all kinds of fun things trying to shoot you, stab you, kill you. And they all kind of hurt, so I don't really need mana potions right now. However, I probably can start making good use of Water Bolt here. 14 damage is not a ton, but it's the bounce that we want. Okay, we got a bunch of skeleton dudes down there. They just want to say hello, I guess. So we'll have to clear up some of this in a moment. So let's see here. That one is not a locked chest, and you see I fell on some spikes. That hurts. However, there are two locked chests down there, so I know 
And the lock chest have some really good items in here, which is exactly why you're going for the dungeon. Let's see, a stone, golden key, you want that. Spelunker potion, pretty good. Thorns potion, don't really need it. What I also need to not do is stop falling on stuff that's going to kill me. Okay, wow, you guys are really hurtful today. So let's see, we got two golden keys. Let's see here. Let's see, it's the floor spikes that are kind of a pisser. But these guys are hurting themselves on something, I'm not sure what. Okay, so there's a bound mechanic. So you're going to die, unfortunately. Uh, kind of like underground, there's someone that you can rescue down there. There's someone you can rescue down here. Unfortunately, they put the mechanic in a place that was terrible for me to rescue. So I'll have to come back later and do this again, which is fine, because we're going to be doing this more than once. She'll respawn somewhere. I think it's a she. Could be at the very bottom. I don't know. So another dungeon slime. Just trying to put torches through walls as best I can. Use both my golden keys. Don't need the shuriken either. Just trying to keep my inventory as clean as I can because there is a lot here to hold on to. So Eye of Cthulhu Summoner, Aqua Magic Wand. Jesus Christ, guys. Okay, in the history of bad ideas, Lloyd the Clothier has arrived, so apparently someone dying triggered that. I don't remember a cloth here from before, and there's a random trap that apparently has been going through the entire dungeon for a while. Yeah, I wish more enemies were like those floating super crazy skulls here. So, thorns, potions, I might as well pick them up since I have them. Um, glow sticks, I may be maxed out on those. Gold coin, so that was as far as chests go, okay. Another suspicious looking eye, shadow key. Shadow keys are very important. You want shadow keys to be able to unlock stuff later. Gravitation potion is awesome. I'm gonna get rid of the gel for that. Healing potion, gonna need more of you and dynamite. I can just buy that myself. So like I said, we're on a quest for gold chests. And there's a lot of different routes we can take. We just gotta be mindful of traps. Okay, so. It's so another nice aqua bolt feature, apparently, is that you can use it as kind of a uh, torch. A traveling torch. Which makes sense. So I guess the question is do I want to go down to where all those people, or all those skeletons are massing? The answer is probably not. Fortunately, my weapon is uh, pretty strong. Alright, so that's coinage stuck in there. And that's where some of the water from outside fell in. Now, I've only played this game on a large world before, so I don't know how far the small world dungeon actually goes down. If it's that far at all. We're going to explore just down first. Okay, we got a lot of friendlies coming. By friendlies, I mean not friendly at all. Okay, thank you for that. So, this is where I flooded. It would appear. So this is going to be a pretty good farming spot for me because the blade of grass is really good and there are traps on the floor. And this is where we want our glow sticks. Okay, so one trap spot. Yeah, so there's another statue there. I don't know what that statue does, but there's our Friend the dart trap. Let's see what statue that is. I probably don't need it. Let's see your jellyfish statue. No, that one's not very good. So let's see what other book do we have? Water bolt again. You can see I can't pick up some things here. So water bolt 17 and 6 critical strike, 17 and 6. So we don't really need two of these. We'll trash the jellyfish statue. Well, no, not the jellyfish. So here's where our poor f friend was uh, captured, and there is uh, I don't know what's going on down there. I think that's just, that may or may not be dungeon. Alright, so nothing here. Nothing here, so let's head back up. This is where having the ivy hook is awesome. Especially since a person is a lifesaver that informed me that 
Terraria now lets you push E to use the grappling hook no matter what you're doing, and Cloud and Bob will just save my butt there. So there's a little bit of dungeon exploration. We've kind of seen what there is to see down in the bottom recesses here a little bit. So let's go up this way. Or surely these guys are just going to want to be friends, right? Okay, two more locked chests. I do not have the appropriate key, so i got to kill some things to get keys, and i got to make sure my inventory is clear so I can pick up keys. There's plenty of switches to get here, so I can get them later. Wooden arrows are a joke. Because, yeah, you get, you get keys from killing things, so let's see here. We need that. Broken Aqua Scepter. Uh, sprays out a shower of water. It's really weak, but I can reforge that. So that's here. Alright, murderous handgun. That is a very powerful item. Splunker potion is good. And splunker potions are going to be super valuable in hard mode as well. Because without that, it's it just makes finding ores much easier, especially new ores. Which will cross the hard mode thing when we reach it. Like I said, I've never made it to hard mode. Okay, don't have a key to open that one. So it looks like I'm just going to have to farm for a little bit. 